Global Education Media presents Education Report on TV, the television program that promotes educational events and activities across the country for parents, students, practitioners in educational fields across categories, government officials, particularly those saddled with the responsibility of managing education and the general public. It also covers programs and activities in the educational sector, such as awards and opening ceremonies, school into house sports, collaborative engagement with NGOs, as well as corporate organizations. Plus, vocational and technical education, institution for people with special education needs, individual contribution towards the growth and development of education while celebrating success in the educational sector at all levels. Please contact 0803-323-2771 or 0812-120-1359. Education Report on TV. Promoting excellence in education on television nationwide. Generally believe that health is wealth. Little one that the say a healthy nation is a wealthy nation. It is therefore important for people to pay prompt attention to their health as this will contribute to their overall well-being and the growth of the society. Recognizing the importance of healthy living, the Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board, SUBEB, recently organized a health week. And say that for you to have the case of what is now. And get whatever it was for the purpose of moving forward. Either way, you want to be able to do not have any problem, you will be advised of what and what you need to be doing to maintain that status. It's not there for you to need simply to do satires. Present yourself on the period text that will be conducted. You don't show up. The program, which was a three day event, had various activities such as health talk, health screening, and health walk. The facilitator spoke on hepatitis and HIV AIDS. It depends on the state of the liver. So if the liver is not damaged, there is no need to stop taking. During the health talk, participants asked questions. It's often, often they say that those with hepatitis B, if one when it gets near them, when it touches their sweats, that two sweats it can be contacted. So far, it is this. Science is dynamic. We keep finding new things, and then information changes consistently. Right now. It is not known to be a method of transmitting disease. But I would want to say that if you meet, if you come in contact with someone who sweats about this, do not forget the virus will be in the sweat. That is some, the will, a count, a viral count will be in the sweat. So the possibility of it will only be there if you have an exposure. You have open skin, something like that. Speaking with Education Report on TV, the chairman of the board, Dr. Ganyu Shukwein, reiterated the importance of staying healthy. We just feel now that we need to intensify effort. And um, like I said, we're going to partner with the Ministry of Health to create more awareness you know, into our 
parents in, primary, in public primary schools in particular to appreciate the need of, I mean, testing, encouraging their children to go for these tests and knowing their status and, you know, finding solutions to them. We are not only going to uh, partner with the Ministry of Health, even uh, all other stakeholders within the state, um, societies, churches, religious bodies, and so many other uh, groups like that, even individuals that can assist, we would approach them. So that this type of uh, test we are doing here today will be uh, replicated in all our schools. Participants applauded the management for coming up with such a laudable program. We need to express our appreciation, you know, uh, to the executive chairman and the health department and the, the partnering uh, company, the Roach, you know, group of companies, you know, that have come forward with this uh, you know, program. It's a very laudable program. In fact, I appreciate them and I thank God for availing me the opportunity to witness this and be part of the test and, uh, you know, counseling. I want to say thank you to the board for giving us this kind of a real opportunity. Like today, I've been able to learn a lot. I've learned about hepatitis B and C and also I've learned about how to prevent it and also we were, given, we, were made, we were given a free test and also given free vaccination, which is a new innovation, is a good one, and we really appreciate it. One thing that matters most is our eating, and our eating habit is also a lifestyle. Now, most of the people, they eat wrongly, and those people that eat wrongly, it also affects their future. So that is one of the major reasons, you know, why we have to educate people about how to eat healthy and live a healthy lifestyle. In all, participants at the Health Week were enjoined to go for regular medical checkup as early detection of these diseases can save life.